So we're excited to welcome to Movie Bark, Austin screenwriter Eric White, who had the short screenplay Blind Vampire. Eric, how are you doing today? I'm well, thank you. Thank you for asking. Uh, are you excited about the fact that it looks like we're going to be under 100 degrees for a while? Well, yes. Uh, and also, what ironically, <laughs> the day after the Austin Revolutions, I actually moved to Florida. From oh, Austin. <laughs> well. Yes. Very different. <laughs> I know Austin's full, but you didn't have to leave. <laughs> well, we've been there 28 years, and so it had a good run. It was time to make good it run. Change. Well, speaking of good run, let's talk a little bit about your screenplay, Blind Vampire. Uh, why don't you give everybody the synopsis okay. and tell us kind of where it came from? Oh, oh, oh okay. So, well, you know, I mean, it, it's uh, the log line is fairly straightforward. I mean, a blind, a blinded vampire survives with the uh, help of her service dog. And very, you know, pithy, I guess. Um, uh, where did it come from? Uh, I've sort of been working through different projects, uh, mashups of uh, story tales, fairy tales, and stuff like that. And, you know, looking at the Russian version of Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, which is the dead princess and the seven knights. <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, but of course, I came back to, you know, vampires and, and werewolves. And, and I started to think, you know, what would be different about a vampire? And I thought, well, you know, we kind of think about vampires as immoral and strong and and, and uh, uh, indefeatable and um, or death. <laughs> There's like these two states of a vampire. Uh, and I thought, well, what's the middle ground? And so, what what could that be? So I worked through a lot of things, like you know, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> do they have acid reflux or something? I mean, <laughs> the kinds of things that you would think that a, a vampire's ability to heal itself would have. But then I, so then I started thinking about what things could be missing, so arms and legs and stuff like that. And, and, and you know, I, I always came away with a, 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 a feeling that, that it really wasn't enough, right? It wasn't as, as debilitating as I wanted to be. And so then I thought about, what about eyes? And so that's kind of where that came from. Somebody said to me, you know, well, they would regrow their eyes. I'm like, well, I don't think they regrow things. They repair things, but they don't regrow things. And so that's kind of where the the general idea was, you know, find a vampire who was surviving, but with a significant disability. And that's kind of, um, that's kind of where things started for me. Uh, adding the service dog idea didn't really come away right away. It didn't come into the picture right away. It was more like uh, how she could use her skills and her, uh, her other abilities like reading minds and, and, and uh, compelling people to do things. And then I kind of realized that over time, uh, this gets a little bit philosophical, but over time, you know, she was, she was blinded in the 17th century and things were simpler than that. But over time, we added things like cars, airplanes, and more complex ways to get around. And, and she needed help. You know, she needed some help. And so that's where the dog came in. And, um, uh, and, and, and through this, it's a very short, short. Um, but I think we see that the dog does more than a dog might do, a service dog might do as human, because the dog actually has to assess the danger. I mean, the vampire is very strong, but she's still susceptible to, uh, to attack. Uh, the, the dog also has to assess food. <laughs> I mean, of course, it's just human. So the dog has to find you food, understand, you know, it, it, you know it, can this food be, uh, uh, you know, can this food be uh, uh, subdued? Uh, and then also, you know, uh, uh, basically, obviously the, uh, the the ability to get around, but also uh, provides eyes for her because she is able to see through the eyes of a bee. So she doesn't really need that cane sort of thing. She needs the dog, but she doesn't need cane because she can see through his eye. Um, that's kind of where it's all came from. <laughs> it's just, it ended up being one thing after another. Right. fell out and I put my paper. <laughs> so, I mean, what's, so what's next for the script? Uh, do you think it's going to get produced? Are you going to try to get it made or are you moving on to other screenplays? What's next? No, I absolutely, well, so yes, I got a bunch of other things in, in progress, but this absolutely has to be made. Um, it has uh, captured a lot of attention uh, and has, uh, won several things, including the nomination uh, at, at Austin Revolution, which I was so, so happy to get. Thank you very much. It meant a great deal to me uh, for, you know, the, my then hometown <laughs> <laughs> right. to, to, to be there, you know, on that last night. And to be honest, you know, I, I, uh, the nomination was hugely important to me, but I was sitting in the audience, and there we had the screen up, you know, with the, the, the nominees, and there is Wine Vampire up there. You know, I was so proud of that, you know, because I was up there with these other folks and, 
I felt really good about that. Um, well, that, I'm glad. I, I'm, no, I mean, I'm glad. I hope I, I, I'm glad to hear that. That makes, that means a lot to me. So thank you. are welcome. Oh, oh my. yeah, it was, it was thrilling. It was thrilling. Uh, and it's, it's won a bunch of other screenplay awards and uh, screenplay competitions and other film festivals. And so I think, but, uh, well, I say this whole anecdote. So I, I submitted this thing through film freeway and Austin revolutions that, you know, at, invited me to submit, uh, and it ended up getting invited to 85 film festivals and screenplay competition. I think the the title and the long line were like, oh, we've got to hear right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like, what the hell? I and, mean, you know, when I say this thing to people, people want to say, well, what is it about? You know, I tell them the title. And they immediately go, oh, well, that's got to be really funny. Like, uh, no, if it's your expected a comedy, you're going to be really <laughs> unhappy with this one. Uh, so, so it's gotten so much traction that it has to be made. And my original plan was to just try to see if I could get some interest in it, maybe get, you know, a laurel or two. Uh, and now I have like 12. <laughs> so you're on your way. So the writer is Eric White and the screenplay is Blind yeah. Vampire. And Eric, thank you again, not only for submitting, for being on the movie bark and, and sharing your screenplay with us. Thank you. Thank you again. Thanks for contacting me. Good to talk to you.